Hey, welcome back, we're on the road. Today, I'm talking very simply about one thing that can make your band better. Listen, damn it. Coming up. So you're in a band, you wanna be in a band. What does it mean to be in a band? Well, I can tell you right now, in today's episode, I'm gonna talk about the number one thing that makes bands suck. I'm serious, that makes bands suck, and that is that the people on stage are not listening to each other. Come on! Playing, and you've got people around you, the idea of a band is that you're banding together, you're joining together as a group, you're locking arms, you're saying, we're going to take this castle. And as a band, you're together, part of that is listening to each other while you're on stage. When you are together in a band, you're bonded together by playing your parts together in such a way that they make sense. Rhythmically, harmonically, that the melody fits in with everything that's going on. And more often than not, I see bands that get together and they start to play and they're just blasting out their parts. They're not listening. They're not interacting. And you know what? It really pisses me off when I see that. If you're a drummer and you're in the back and you're blasting away, just beating the crap out of your drums, more than likely, the guitar player is going to have to turn up. Then the bass player turns up. Then you're going to have the light lead singer just screaming at you, telling the sound man to turn him up. And then you've got this volume war on stage. If you listen and you learn to listen while you're on stage, it does multiple things. Number one, it brings your stage volume so that it's reasonable. While you're on stage, you can hear the mix and it can sound how all the parts mix together. Listen, damn it. That's what you got to do. Just listen to the people around you. It sounds so simple, but off, so often it isn't. Now, I know some of you that uh, probably you might not be into jazz. I can tell you, as someone who's played in jazz clubs and done jazz work in my early years, a jazz band, a jazz group, every person on the stage is listening to every other person on the stage. They're hearing everything that's going on, and they know what's going on. They know the form of the song, and they're listening to as, as the drummer's adding riffs, as the soloist is doing something. They're, they're comping with that. In other words, they're supplementing with what's going on the stage. They're not just playing their part, just playing it straight down, playing a groove and from beginning to end. A better rock band, a better any other kind of band, will sound better if you are reacting to the other instruments on the stage. Listen, damn it! Can you do that? That's all you got to do is just listen to the people around you. It's the mo one thing that I see in most bands. I can tell that they're not listening. They're checked out. You'll see this guy up on stage doing this kind of thing. What the hell is that? You don't want to see that. There are so many things that a band could do better. In my upcoming book, The Better Band, I talk about all these things in great detail. I give you practical tips on how to go ahead and make your band better. So really consider what are you going to do to make your band better. So that's my number one tip here. Check us out next time as we're doing the next part of the better band.